I always get asked what mascara I use and I've got them in like every single type. This eyeshadow palette here is my all-time favorite eyeshadow palette. Anyway, about an hour passes by and I'm just starting to finally like doze off and go to sleep. And I hear this mom. I was like, oh no. I was like, Miller, babe, I'm here, I'm here. I actually yelled out from Regan's room. Woke Regan up. That never happens. Like what are the odds? had a 40th birthday party to go to and he was so excited to go out and head out with the boys and I was having a nice little solo night at home I like had a little date night for myself I poured myself a little glass of wine I got myself some takeaway for dinner got some churros with chocolate sauce and pulled out my book and it was really really nice the 9:45 hit <laughs> and I struggled to fall asleep when Kurt's not at home I don't know if anyone else is the same as me but normally when he's not at home um, I just I just struggle. I, I honestly usually wait until he gets home before I even fall asleep I'll share with you guys what I'm using as I'm doing my makeup as well um, So today I actually have been dabbling between two different foundations lately um, The Lust Minerals Pro Finish Liquid Foundation. I'm almost all out of that though And then also this one. This one's more of like a matte finish the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. This one's more of like a um, natural finish, I would say, whereas this one's like a bit more matte. Kurt was heading out with all of his mates, he was having such a good time. He left nice and early, which is good. Um, 9.45 and Regan appears in my room. She never ever wakes up at that time of the night, guys. Like if she's gonna wake up, it's normally like three in the morning and then she'll go back like straight back to sleep. Got up with Rigi girl. I decided I'd go into her bed. So when Kurt got home later at night, obviously it wasn't gonna wake Regan up when he came home and he could have a shower and everything else. So I went into her bed, but when I went down there, I went into the sea Miller and I like woke her up and I was like, babe, I'm just letting you know, I'm going into Rigi girl's room. So if she woke up in the night, she didn't freak out because obviously I, Kurt's not there and I'm not in my bed. And she was like, yeah, mom, I'm okay. And I said, did you hear what I said, darling girl? I said, mommy's in Rigi's room. So if you need me, I'm going to be in there. Anyway, about an hour passes by and I'm just starting to finally like doze off and go to sleep. And I hear this, mom. I was like, oh no. So Miller had come upstairs. She didn't remember me waking her up and didn't know like where we were, the poor little honey. I like, oh, just so badly don't want to feel like that. And that's exactly why I went and woke her up but obviously she was still half asleep. I said it to her twice. I thought she was awake, like enough to remember, but she didn't. Anyway, she was fine. Once she knew I was there, I ran straight out. I was like, Miller, babe, I'm here, I'm here. I actually yelled out from Regan's room, woke Regan up. <laughs> and yeah, Miller has been so sick. So she's been up all night long, not well, the poor little honey. So I ended up having to call her and I was like, babe, I'm so sorry to cut your night short, but I was like, Regi girl is awake. She needs me to settle back to sleep. Miller's not well. She needs me with her as well. Luckily by this time it was like 10.30. Oh, and, yeah, and Kurt was just down the road. I was just talking about your night and how you like, and Lucky went early. Like you got there at like seven. And so at least you got a few hours to like hang out with everyone and see everyone, but that never happens. Like what are the odds? Like just... usually when you go, like nothing like that ever happens. You Even the what... fact of Regan waking up at 9.40, I was like, she never does that. Yeah, and I was... yeah. And then poor little Miller, I just had like how she woke up and she was sick and I was just but like... maybe it was doing that so I'm not sick today. That's exactly right, hey? And look at all that. That's exactly right. How is Miller now? Yeah, she's sick. She's sick. Poor little darling. So anyways, I'm sorry for cutting your night short, darling. So yeah. We're going to be laying quite low the next couple days. For concealer, I'm using Tarte Shape Tape um, in the shade Light Medium Sand. I've used this like forever, haven't I? Oh, as long as I've known you. Yeah, very long time. <laughs> I don't know. Probably didn't wear makeup when I first met you, actually. Um, so yeah, it's been an interesting 24 hours, to say the least. So yeah, it's been full on. She's the poor little darling. 
obviously going to be having the next few days off school, laying low at home, but she just cannot keep anything down. She'll literally have a sip of water and just everything is coming up, which is definitely not ideal. This one here is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Suede. I'm just using that as a contour. Yeah, there's nothing worse than when someone in the house is sick. It just makes you appreciate your health so much. So yeah, Kurt's night out did not quite go to plan. I felt so bad because obviously, you know, like those nights don't happen that often. One kid up, like so fine. When Reedy woke up at 9.45, I was like, oh, this is fine. Like he messaged me and he was like, do you want me to come home? And I was like, no, babe, like you stay. Like it's so fine. I'll just make sure I'll make, I wake the kids up so they know that I'm in Regan's room. Like did all the steps to try to like let him enjoy his night. At least you got another hour. <laughs> but these things are just completely out of our control, unfortunately. Now I'm going in with the Lust Minerals um, Press Powder in shade six. And yeah, just hoping that little Millimoot passes nice and quick. That's the only good thing about a tummy bug like that is it normally does go pretty fast. See, so yeah, I've just been down with her, the poor little honey this morning. She just wants like so many cuddles, just wants like either Kurt or I to be in the room with her. And yeah, let's hope that no one else catches it. For bronzer, I just used the Lust Minerals Press Bronzer in the shade Caramel. Now I'm gonna go in with the blush in shade Spring. Now I'm gonna go in with the Benefit, what's this called? Benefit Brow Gel. I really need to get a new one of these. I've had this for so long. <laughs> it's like so manky. This eyeshadow palette here is my all time favorite eyeshadow palette. I got it for my birthday from Kurt and the kids. It's the Nude Medium Huda Beauty palette. It's called Medium Nude Obsessions. And these are the colors inside. So pretty, super warm colors. Mascara, this has also been my ride or die for so long. I always get asked what mascara I use and I've got them in like every single type. I've got it in the waterproof, I've got it in the black and I've got it in the blackest black. And I kind of like alternate, obviously if I'm going in water, I'll use this one and then alternate between these two. I actually can't figure out which one I like best. I feel like the formula of this one's better. Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. The best guys, like actually my favorite I've ever used. Also, you guys are probably wondering why I'm putting makeup on when I've literally got a sick little girl at home, but there is a very tactical reason behind this. Obviously, we're assuming she's gonna be having the next two to three days off school. So today I'm gonna try to get heaps of my work done that I needed to get done. So then tomorrow I can watch Mila while Kurt gets done what he needs to get done. Lip liner, I have got the Revlon Colorstay Longwear Lip Liner in the shade Nude. Again, there's this lip liner and a Maybelline one. The Maybelline one that I usually use is all run out. I still, oh, I've still got it in here. Um, Maybelline Color Sensational in shade 125. These two lip liners are my faves. Okay, then for lip gloss, this is my favorite lip gloss ever as well. This one is the Sephora Lip Plumper Lip Gloss in the shade 2, Outrageous. It is the bee's knees. I've used this for years as well. I can't even tell you guys how many tubes of this I've gone through. I just said the bee's knees. Oh my gosh, guys, I finished my book last night before all of the chaos begun. I don't think I've ever cried so much in a book. I was crying happy tears, I was crying sad tears, then more hectic tears and then scared tears. I'm not someone who usually really cries when I read books. I'm a little bit cold like that. I think there's been like maybe one or two books that have made me cry. I think I cried in Ugly Love and I cried in Reminders of Him and I've read 70 books. I don't think any other book has really made me cry before. But anyways, this one made me cry four times and that's a new record. I feel like normally like a sad moment will happen and then it just kind of happens. You have the tears and it's done. No, this was such a whirlwind of emotions, especially the end last little bit. Like I was so hooked and yeah, this was my favorite one so far of this series. I really, really enjoyed it. I've got two more left and that is it. The fourth one though is only quite thin and then the fifth one is even thicker than this one which I'm excited about. I feel like when I first started reading I used to like dread reading thick books. I think because in my head it was like oh they're so much easier when they're smaller and I can get through like three in the amount of one of these but now I love it. I find that I get so much more of the story and I find I get like way more um like attached to it. So yeah, I really, really, really love this book. And then after I finish this series, guys, I don't know what I'm gonna read next. Like what's everyone reading at the moment? What's everyone loving? I feel like with books, I love romance. I love thrillers. I love mystery murders. I love fantasies. I feel like I have a quite a wide range on what I like to read, but yeah, I don't, I don't really know what everyone's reading at the moment. I know there was like the whole Colleen Hoover phase, but I think I've read pretty much every one of her books. But whatever your favorite books are that you have read or are reading at the moment, please comment down below and let me know. But anyways, guys, I'm so sorry to spend 
a bit of a different vlog. Obviously, been a bit more cozy vibes, just kind of me coming up here and chatting to the camera when I can find five minutes to jump on because, yeah, Miller's just really unwell today and then the other two are obviously wanting someone to play with them. So Kurt and I have really just been kind of trying to tag team. But the next time you guys see me, it'll be a few days from now and we'll all be up and better and it'll be a lot more action-packed as it normally is and sharing a lot more. But I hope you guys enjoyed this like a little bit different. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, shot. Shot. <laughs> oh no, I haven't done that in so long. Not a vibe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is the most <laughs> lip I've ever seen.